Warm weather lovers, you better soak it up while you can. We'll finish watching the news at 5.30, then <laughs> go soak it up while you can, because it's going to be over pretty quick. It really is. You know, six days now. Six days of record-breaking heat. It's not right. just like above average. We go up, we go down. This is six days setting another temperature record over 90 each time. I wow. Mean, Six new records. That's lot. pretty impressive. It's an impressive stretch too. Yeah. You know, so it's it's a lot. You know, it's not just us. I've seen Grand Rapids and Flint and all these other records being broken. Well, mm -hmm. it's all finally coming to a change. And fall is finally showing up. It's gonna be uh, a feeling very cool in comparison. <laughs> yeah. Sure it will. Well, have a look. Sure enough, these are the highest of the day so far. I would not be surprised if these numbers go up another degree or two for some of them. Either way, record broken in Lansing, 92, the highest so far there. This is something different though. I mentioned it a couple times uh, in the past several days. Dew point, not that high. Uh, if this were July, I'm sure these would be much higher dew point measuring the moisture in the atmosphere. The higher the dew point, the more humid it is. Dew points are mostly in the 50s for today, yesterday through the weekend. It's not that humid. So of course, if we're even a little bit higher, this would be a lot more uncomfortable of a heat, heat, heat wave. But still, temperatures over 90 for a lot of lower Michigan, 80s even along the lakeshore, 85 in Traverse City. But look, Green Bay at 79, Eau Claire 63, big drop in temperatures on the way. That's the cold front creeping along, moving towards us, but even well west of it, a lot of cool air. So there's going to be a long stretch of cool weather on the way. Now there's not as much sunshine in the forecast. We do have some cloud cover, some scattered little bits of rain. You see the little greens there. There's not a lot of rain on the way, but that cold front is going to kick up a couple of showers. The heat wave ending, that's the bigger impact for us, not the rain. Weather headlines ha here has it all. 70s tomorrow, 60s. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some low 60s possible for some highs, but there's at least a chance for rain tonight. It's not much. Let's break it down a little bit. In your future track tonight, mostly clear evening. Should be a very pleasant evening. Another one very similar to previous nights. Warm, calm. Through the overnight, though, a couple of showers possible. Not much. There's a chance for rain, but if you're looking for the lawn to get a good soaking, your gardens, you're just not going to get it tonight. We will maybe see some of that on Friday, but whatever cloud cover and rain we do see tomorrow will be late overnight tonight into early Wednesday morning. Then afternoon sunshine returns. It'll be a very pleasant Wednesday, but a good 20 degree drop in temperatures is all. And then mostly clear skies at night. Thursday, dry day, mostly sunny, some cloud cover around, maybe partly cloudy at times, but a little bit cooler for the temperatures. 64, your low tonight. Partly cloudy with some stray showers after midnight into early, early tomorrow morning. Through Wednesday afternoon, 72 your high. Cloudy early with late sunshine. That yeah, winds out of the west and northwest. Yeah, we're talking about 20 degree drop from today versus tomorrow. End of the seven day forecast, 60s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Chance for rain. Friday. I think we will see a good few rounds of showers, but it's not going to be a whole lot there. End of the weekend, though, more sunshine. Even if it's going to feel a bit cooler, we're still talking about calm weather for the most part here. And next week, we will have another cold front roll through. Not entirely sure about timing. It could be anywhere from Monday to Wednesday time frame. But we do get a little bit warmer. 70s return next week. And the clouds clear just in time for the weekend. The, Perfect timing. The weekend does look great, at least as far as sunshine goes. Some cool nights, but this is typical fall weather, you know? Right. So you can't really complain at all when you got some good sunny weekends. Perfect for the hot cider. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dustin, thank you.